Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to uh, give more examples related to basis for vector space. And we're going to start off with this example right here where you have a uh, set S which contains three different vectors. So this is the first vector, second vector, and the third vector. And you are asked to demonstrate that the set here is a basis for our vector space. So this is the vector space and um, it is um, a real numbers with a three dimension. So the first step is to demonstrate that S here spans this vector space. Okay, so is it true? Um, well, the first step is to uh, make sure that we can write uh, the linear combination of all these factors. So C1, 1, 2, 3, plus C2, 0, 1, 2, plus C3, so this is the third vector, negative 2, 0, 1, and the result here is going to be equal to something. We don't know what the value is. We can just uh, uh, represent it with uh, certain alphabets for example you can represent the result as x y and z okay so that is our starting point so the objective here is to um, see whether we can get the values of c1 c2 and c3 and therefore uh, what we need to do next is we can consider the augmented matrix of all these uh, numbers combined together Okay, and um, we can apply the elementary row operations as usual. So, for example, this part here, I've got to turn it into zero. Therefore, the operation that I need to consider will be um, turning the second row into something else here. So, we have the second row plus negative two of the first row. So, here we have one, zero, negative two, x. So for the second row here, we have um, 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 plus 4. So this is 4. So y minus 2x. Okay. Also, this part should be turned into 0. Therefore, I need to consider the operation here. R3 plus negative 3 R1. So 3 minus 3 is 0. 2 minus 0, 2, 1 plus 6 is 7. Yeah. And this one is z minus 3x. So, so there you go. Right, next what I have to do is I need to turn this into um, 0. So therefore, I need to consider the operation where um, I shall have r3 plus negative 2 r2 so r3 negative 2 r2 okay and therefore the matrix will look like this 1 0 negative 2 x 0 1 4 1 minus 2 x and then this one 0 minus 0 2 minus uh, 2 is 0 and 0 and then 7 minus 8 is negative 1 and uh, I shall have z minus 3x uh, minus y plus 4x yeah so here I will have z minus 3x and then plus negative 2 times with um y minus 2x okay so that is the process um of course when you look at this uh, expression that we have here this one here can be simplified as z minus 3x minus 2y plus 4x which is equal to um, z 
negative 3 plus 4 is plus x minus 2y. Okay. Right. Uh, next, what I need to do is I need to turn this into a value of positive 1. So therefore, I'm just going to multiply the third row with negative 1. Okay, third row with negative 1. And the result that I will get is 1, 0, negative 2, x, 0, 1, 4, y minus 2, x, and then uh, 0, 0, 1. And so the result here, I'm just going to use the simplified version of this one. And uh, when you multiply with negative 1, so you will have 2y minus z minus x. So that's the result. Um, and I think based on this, we can then determine the values for c1, c2, and c3. So these are the values that we are looking to find. Um, therefore, based on this uh, part here, you can see that c1 is, sorry, c3 is equal to 2y minus z minus x. So that is the value of c3. And next, um, if you consider this part right here, you will see that this is c2 plus 4c3 is equal to y minus 2x. And therefore, um, C2 is Y minus 2X minus 4C3. So Y minus 2X minus 4C3 is 2Y minus Z minus X. So you just substitute the value of C3 right here. And you can simplify the whole thing. So here we have Y minus 2X minus 8Y plus 4Z plus 4x and that can be simplified as well here is negative 7y and then we have 4x and 2x so that is positive 2x plus 4z so that is the um, solution for c2 and finally if you consider the last part here it will be um, c1 minus 2 c3 is equal to x and therefore c1 is just x plus 2 c3 which is equal to x plus 2 c3 is this guy over here you just substitute the value mm. and you can simplify the whole thing so it becomes um hang on so here is negative 2x uh so x with negative 2x is negative x plus 4y minus 2z and this is um, the value of c1 okay so we have managed to obtain values of c1 c2 and c3 therefore um, we can write the result is as such so therefore um, what we have is um, hang on what is c1 so c1 here is um, negative x plus 4y minus 2z and that will be multiplied with our first factor here 1 2 3 plus c2 is negative 7y plus 2x plus 4z and that is multiplied with the second vector 0 1 2 and then finally, we have the last value for C3, 2y minus x minus z. And this is the third vector, which is negative 2, 0, 1. And the result here can be expressed um, equal to x, y, and z. And since we are able to uh, consider all the vectors into a linear combination, we can conclude, um, we can say that the vector here, the vectors here, which is a set of S, you can see that S spans this vector space. Okay. So, so that's it for the first part um, of trying to show that this is true. Okay, so that is the first part. Now, the second part is to to see whether 
the set here is linearly independent okay so this is the second part so is s linearly independent and in order to do that uh, we're going to start our discussion by considering so we're going to consider let us consider um, the idea of having c1 one two three plus c two um zero one two plus c three negative two zero one x y z i'm going to call this equation one yeah so let us consider this part here and the solutions and the solutions given as um, c1 is negative x plus 4y minus 2z c2 is negative 7y plus 2x plus 4z and c3 is 2y minus x minus z so I hope you can see that uh, to show that the set S is linearly independent, the part here for x, y, z has to be equal to zero. And therefore, if I let, if we let x equals to zero, y equals to zero, and z equals to zero, then equation one becomes um, C1, one, two, three, plus C2. 0, 1, 2, plus C3, negative 2, 0, 1, and here will be 0, 0, and 0. So we let x, y, and z uh, becomes the value of 0, yeah? And uh, in order to solve for C1, C2, C3, therefore we can consider the solutions that we have obtained just now, and subsequently, And subsequently, uh, C1 is equal to, well, in this case, is um, negative x plus 4y minus 2z. And since x and y is 0, this is negative 0 plus 4, 0 minus 2. So this is equal to 0. Okay, so C1 is equal to 0. Um, Similarly, C2 is equal to, well, negative 7y plus 2x plus 4z. And since x, y, and z are 0, we can just substitute the value here. And uh, the answer is going to be 0. Okay. Also, for C3, C3 is 2y minus x minus z. And again, we can substitute the value of x, y, and z equal to 0. So we obtain the solution of c1, c2, and c3. They are all um, equal to 0, and we call this the trivial solution. Okay, And for that reason, we have managed to show that uh, the vectors here are linearly independent. So therefore, since... Um, C1, C2, C3 is equal to 0. Um, set S is linearly independent. And finally, as a conclusion, so we can conclude that since condition 1 and 2 are fulfilled, Therefore, um, S here is a basis for this vector space. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's all for now. And I see you all in the next video, which is also about another example related to basis for vector space. Thank you very much for watching.